Jackson is the capital of the state of Mississippi, close to 200,000 people. 80% of the city is black, overwhelmingly working class, overwhelmingly impoverished. We're dealing with generations of mindset of slavery, what I call post-slavery syndrome. There are things that happened to us historically that has been passed through generations and it hasn't stopped. The Trump phenomenon is catching many people throughout the world by storm. Mississippi's been living with that since the Redeemer Constitution government of the 1890s in one form or another. Something has to be done, and I think Cooperation Jackson is a good vehicle to help with that. What Cooperation Jackson is trying to do, you know, preserve the land, build economic basis about collective resources, creating the commons, and creating new social relationships. That's the core essence of what our program is about. With the Jackson Cush plan, written over a decade ago, one of the things that was initiated through that plan was the idea of taking back the means of production for the working class here in Jackson, part of the Black Bell South. What we're building here is something called a solidarity economy, systems where we're doing work that's meaningful to us, and where we can feel like we have ownership of our labor. Let's focus on the transition of value. If I fix something for you, you may not have to pay it. It means you could do some child care for me. That you have something of value, whether you have no money at all, or if you do have a job. We have a Jackson Just Transition Plan, making Jackson a zero waste and a zero emission city. What really made the civil rights movement strong is that people really checked for each other. They really cared about one another. They ate together, they fought together, they cried together, they bled together. All of that is definitely gonna be needed because that's how we have been able to survive and be able to be resilient through all of this. How do we build our own economic base and build it on an anti-capitalist basis? We need to take the limited resource we have and then prioritize around need. The People's Assembly existed before the plan. That's one thing everybody should know. That component we see as the lead component of the Jackson Cush plan and then the other two pillars, you know, the independent electoral politics and the building the solidarity economy are really in some respects we see them as outgrowths of, of that core component. The initial strategy was we would get in office and then we would change the policy infrastructure within the city that would then enable a vehicle like Cooperation Jackson to be born. If I had to do it all over again, I would have pushed more for us doing the solidarity economy work before getting into the electoral politics. Uh, and I think in all, in all honesty, we did the electoral politics because that's what we knew how to do. Black Jackson is income poor, but not experience poor. There's a lot of people with a lot of skills here. We started having neighborhood meetings, and what we realized really quickly was that everybody could articulate where they would go if, mm -hmm. if they had more money, if they, you know, had a better job. That's how we started, like, saying, okay, well, you know, if they can see what their ideal place would be, well, why not start organizing with that saying like, look, you know, we can own this space and we can start to create what we can see. It's about having that conversation first, then educating ourselves on what the issues are, and then coming to a conclusion collectively on how to solve these issues. A lot of the unions forget that they once had co-ops internal to their own operation. One of the things that we're really trying to say, look, you're one of the bodies, working class entity that has a tremendous amount of resources. You guys can serve as a bank to, for your own development if you so choose right, an investment in the development of your own members. If you just want to start there in their future, you can do your own just transition. There was a phrase I first heard in the 80s from the social movements in Venezuela, and it's recently coming back to the forefront of my mind and my imagination. We don't want to be the government, we want to govern.